God says to make every effort to respond. To those who aim to hurt us with charity and love. Those who use the sword to live will also use the sword to die. Decide in your heart not to retaliate in kind to those who wrongly criticize and vilify you. Thank you. God says please understand that while my love is unwavering and consistent, it is your love that activates my beneficence in your circumstance. Sometimes, the solutions you are looking for are right in front of you but they fail to materialize because of a lackluster love reaction toward other people. They serve you food and beverages that will make you queasy and make you want to flee. The enemy is hungrier than ever to see you destroyed. The adversary takes pleasure in your decline. Don't let your critics enjoy seeing how stressful your life has become as a result of their actions. The underlying meaning of love never fails is this. Love is always available, but not always what love is ready to produce is experience. You give up your mercy when you refuse to walk in love toward others because men and women stumble in their love response to others around them many. Answers to prayer go unclaimed. God says anger isn't always sinful. Anger serves as a barrier between you and the target of your rage, safeguarding your integrity in the process. Be furious, but do not sin. Allow your rage to be focused in that direction, and you will secure your boundaries in doing so. I didn't call you to be cowardly. An action is death. Being inactive makes you a victim. The Father declares that you are not a victim. Therefore rise to the provisions I've provided for you today. The list of gifts that love has to offer is close by and not far away. As you seat out of yourself the love. Response even to the cruel and undeserving. I will release you from all strain and hardship. I reserve vengeance for myself, and that requires sowing and reaping. Because I love the unlovable, my mercies are available to you and yes, even to those who don't frequently show kindness. However, I do not have endless patience. For those who mistreat, detach, and persecute my children. In that regard, I'll find them something else to do. Be of good cheer and rejoice, because today I am your defense, protection, and preservation. Don't allow your enemies to dictate your life's course. Type yes if you believe. God bless you.